Here's something I thought I'd never have to deal with again because I stopped buying bag group cars. This is my sister's five year old 39k Sirocco 2 litre TDI and parked in exactly the same place as my 2 litre TDI Audi was eight years ago. She's gone to start the car and the pedal has just completely gone. Now, when this happened to me eight years ago, mine was a five-year-old A4 with about 49k on the clock. And mine actually went with a crack. So I went to start the car and it cracked and went to the floor. Whereas my sister's got in and the pedal has just completely gone. Now, lucky for my sister, I know what to do now. When this happened to me, I sent the car back to Audi and they insisted it needed a new clutch and flywheel. And I refused. And when I got the car back, it wouldn't start anymore. And the boot was wet through. So that was Harrogate Audi. And they wouldn't listen to reason or help one little bit so that's what put me off fag group cars so first of all we need to determine whether it's the master cylinder which is behind the pedal or the slave cylinder which is inside the gearbox now this is quite an easy thing to do because all we need to do is lift out the airbox, which is, there's a 5 mil hex just there. And it sits on a rubber mount there. And we can just lift it out of the way enough to access this hose here. And what we're going to do is we're going to clamp this pipe off here and see if we get any pedal. So we've clamped off the hose. We don't need to flatten it. We just need to restrict the flow as much as possible. Just enough that if it were the slave cylinder at fault, we would now have a functioning pedal or you'd be able to feel it a little bit if you've managed to reduce the flow. So what we can determine from this is the master cylinder is at fault. Which is good news because that's the much easier job to do. The slave cylinder requires the gearbox to be removed. So as you can see here behind the pedal, that's the slave cylinder mounted just behind there inside and that's what I'll be changing or I'll be getting changed so what happened to me when I when this happened on my Audi I got the car recovered from Harrogate Audi and then managed to get myself ripped off by my local garage at the time as well so they changed the clutch and flywheel which obviously didn't fix the problem because that was never the problem they then had to replace the starter motor because for some reason after it being at Harrogate Audi it wouldn't start and the boot was completely wet through no idea what that was about and then lastly they changed the master cylinder and that was the last time I used that garage so my sister's very lucky that I now know more, more about cars and can help her out in this case. So there may be a video changing the master cylinder if I do decide to do it myself. Uh, but at least now you know how to check whether it's the master cylinder or the slave cylinder.